Hello everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name is Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping, stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Um, thanks for joining me today either live or in, in, um, um, in replay. I'm actually recording this video on um, Thursday afternoon um, due to the fact that I have got my I'll be tied up at 10 o'clock on my usual time on um, Friday morning. So if you're watching this, um, I'm actually sitting in the hairdresser's chair at this very moment. And uh, I hopefully will be at the point where I can watch it too and comment along with you um, if, uh, if you do so. So anyway, um, this is uh, uh, project number nine in my 12 Days of Christmas uh, challenge. And uh, today I'm going to be featuring the Snowman Season uh, stamp set. Um, this one, uh, along with another couple, I carried over from last year's Christmas catalogue. So it's quite cute. Got some lovely little, um, quite characterful snowmen there. And this one here that you can actually use with the punch, which I haven't got out at the moment because I don't actually use it. So it's one of those really great stamp sets that has a punch with it that you don't, so you don't have to worry about I can just grab it here. So you don't have to worry about die cutting or fussy cutting. Um, you've got the punch there um, you know, ready to be used. So here it is here, the punch. Obviously it cuts out this little snowman, his two little arms, his hat, and his cute little carrot nose. It also cuts out as well. So I won't be using that today, but as I said, it's a really handy little um, punch to have, uh, especially at this time of year. Or leading into this time of year. Okay, what I am going to be doing today though with this stamp set is featuring this little guy here who's having such a lovely time watching the the snow come down from above. Um, yeah, not particularly apl applicable for the southern hemisphere but it's a lovely image nonetheless that we're quite used to associating with Christmas down here. I'm going to do a gate fold card uh, and I'm going to go back to this beautiful um, designer series paper, the um, Snowflake Splendor designer series paper from the current August to December mini catalogue. Here's the catalogue here. Um, and it's here, Snowflake Splendor. If you buy this, um, uh, many of these designer series papers during October, you'll get 15% off. And this Snow Snowflake Splendor is actually one of those. Um, on sale um, papers so if you like the look of the paper we've used over the last few days with this challenge of mine um, it's definitely a time to stock up and save I've got a tiny little piece of it here it's lovely blues and um, it's actually the opposite side of the one I used I think on day two so what else I've got here that I'm going to make my gatefold is a panel of Pacific Point um, cardstock it's, uh, I have to remind myself how big it is. I designed these cards a few days ago now, so I'm a bit pushed to remember. Um, eight and three quarters long, and it's scored at three inches there. So it just forms our half card, our gate here. What else I have is a couple of panels of um, uh, seaside spray. One of them is for the inside like this, just like that. And that's a quarter of an inch smaller. So that would be a five and a half by three and seven eighths. And another one for the front here, which just fits in there. So that's also a quarter of an inch smaller. So that would be two and three quarters by um, three and seven eighths again. I then have some Whisper White, which I've popped through my favorite embossing panel embossing folder you must wonder whether I actually possess any other embossing folders I do um, but this is my favorite for the Christmas period especially because it goes so well with the snowflakes on the snowflake splendor designer series paper so I've popped that panel of whisper white through the um, winter snow um, embossing folder uh, and it's got that wonderful um, snowflake pattern on it uh, and then I've got a smaller panel which fits snugly in on the front and it has also been popped through the embossing folder like that. Okay, so and also um, to contrast that, I've got another panel of the Pacific Point which is going to go sort of horizontally across the front there to form our gate. 
and I'm just going to tell you how much that is. I think that's four and an eighth by uh, three and an eighth. I'll just check that. Three and an eighth. No, three and a quarter. Apologies for that. And our little piece of designer series paper, which is four by three and an eighth. It's going to sit on there like that. Then I have a couple of whisper white circles. Now these have been cut with the largest stitch circle from the stitched shapes dies. So I've got one for the front which I'm going to be stamping our little snowman on and then I've got one to snug away inside there that I'm going to stamp a sentiment on. So it's a bit like that. So basically you can see the card coming together there pretty much as it is. Okay, I also have a piece of the um, the beautiful um, uh, seaside spray um, glittery ribbon that I promised I was going to use more of and I definitely have so it's the metallic ribbon um, in the seaside spray which is a lovely sparkly ribbon okay so let's get some doing some stamping and some coloring I might pop all that aside for the moment bring back one of my circles and my little guy here having his lovely time in the snow grab a block for him and some black ink and I'm just going to stamp him straight onto this circle good thing with the circle is that there's no particular up or down just somewhere in the middle like that lovely okay oh, I think I had something in there that's all right okay so I'll pop that away so that's our little guy so I'm going to give him the faintest 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 little touch of color and obviously I'm going to use the light seaside spray and the dark seaside spray mostly the light and I'm also going to use my color lifter just to blur that a little bit so what I'm going to do is just color in just the vaguest hint of colour. I'm going to give a little bit of the snow under his under his uh, feet. If snowmen have feet, just a little bit of a shadow there under the rocks, a bit like that. And then I'm going to lift it with the colour lifter, just to take away the the sharp edges. And I think as I showed in a previous video, you could probably use your, um, which probably would be quite nice, use your um, Wink of Stella to achieve much the same effect. In fact, I might do that for his uh, scarf and hat. Okay, so just a bit of softening there. Now I'm going to just give him a little bit of the blue on his scarf, just every second stripe. And the same on his little hat. And then I'll colour in his hat all together. Then bringing in the light, I'm just going to give him some shadows, some light blue shadows around his edges, just a tiny touch. I'm going to bring my colour lifter back in and just blur those edges a tiny bit. Right here up under his chin, a tiny little bit under his chin as well. Okay. 
Okay, so that's this, the faintest hint of colour. I'll just bring it a little bit closer. So hopefully you can see that. Um, just a tiny hint of colour. Just I don't want to overshadow. Don't want it to stand out too much. Um, I just would like it to just to just be really subtle. Okay, so that's Mr. Snowman done. I'm not going to add anything else to that. I'm just going to leave it as is. We'll bring back our card and we can start making our card. Probably one of the easiest cards I've made um, within this challenge. Um, but, you know, lovely and effective anyway. Nice and easy to make if you have to make a fair few cards. You can just, you know... I don't want to say churn them out, but you can produce them fairly quickly um, if you have a fair few that you have to make for family and friends. So now our designer series, uh, our um, not our emboss embossed panel. Here we are. Hopefully my hairdresser will be at the point at this stage where I can actually sign on and watch along with you if you want to um, chat uh, for a, a little bit. But um, if not, I will definitely answer all your comments and questions after I get out of the hairdresser. Seems weird knowing that I'm. this is going to be watched by, by people sometime down the track. Well, I've done pretty well. This is the first one I've pre-recorded of all my... 12 days of Christmas so far so anyway so that's that's done there I'm going to pop our designer series paper onto our Pacific point just like that And then pop this, ah, oh, now don't forget, ribbon. I've got to pop my ribbon on. I should have probably popped it on under the paper. Oh, well, that's okay. So I'm going to pop the ribbon on just with a tiny piece of double-sided tape on both sides. Mm, hang on. It's not going to work, is it? Because it's going to come up under there. It's going to work there. Maybe I'll put the ribbon that way. Yeah, I can do that this time. I was going to put the ribbon that way, but I'll go up and down because then it'll be, it won't get sticky on the, the, the back. I'll pop that there. And there. The ribbon on curl it round and the same on that side as well there we are and now I'm going to, to glue that it's sort of central to the whole layout of the card but obviously only gluing it that half so I'm going to put some glue just on this half and it'll use the the um, double-sided tape a little bit as well and pop that there like that making sure it's the same the top the sides and the bottom there we are okay now we bring back our little snowman he's going to sit on there and sit on the center there and I may actually pop him up on dimensionals I think I don't want little ones I want big ones here we go here's some big ones just a few dimensionals on the back of that I'm going to bring in a, a sentiment from the stamp set. It's just a plain Merry Christmas. So I want him centre there. Just 
bring in a Merry Christmas sentiment. I'm going to stamp that on this piece of scrap Whisper White. I'm going to use the um, Seaside. Oh, will I use this for a Pacific Point? It might be a bit stronger. Where's my Pacific Point? more of a, a stronger colour, a darker colour. Great. And I'm going to actually cut that sentiment out so it doesn't cover over our snowman too much. So you've seen me do this before. Just basically follow the contours of the letters as closely as you want or can. You can basically just leave a, a fair bit of distance if you want, or you can hug them closely also. Sort of doing a bit of both here. Snip that on. And our S. There we are. We've got our Merry Christmas there. So what I'm going to do is pop that on dimensionals, well, one end of it on dimensionals and the other end flat. Just so it just slightly over over oh, down there. I don't want it too low. I don't want to cover him over too much. It's quite a long Merry Christmas, isn't it? I don't want to cover his snowball snowflakes either. They're probably there, I think. Just there. Uh, I don't think it, there's enough room that side. We'll cover over his little tree too much. No, it's definitely over here. Yeah, this is where I'm going to pop it. So a little dimensional on the back of the Mary on the M. And then let's see how far along it goes before it makes. And I'm going to put another one just where the Y is. And then, that's it. And then a touch of glue just on the back there just to stick the rest of it down. Yeah. Okay, so there's the front of our card all done. I'm going to bring some bling in as well in a very short moment. So there's the front. So I'm going to bring back in the second of our stitched circles just to follow that theme through. That's actually going to go on the inside here, just so it covered, sort of roughly corresponds with this, the position of our. Um, our front circle and I'm going to bring in the let it snow um, just as a little cute saying on the inside and again I'll do it in my specific point Christmas time. That's uh, 
a sign that things have really gone a bit, a bit uh, strange with the world's weather, but the sentiment's there. What I might do as well, this stamp set also has these cute little snowflakes, so I might decorate um, around wherever they are, there they are. Might decorate around our let it snow with some actual snow. And this time bring my seaside spray back in as a softer colour. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Sorry, I've gone down the bottom there a little bit. Apologies for that. And one more up here. There, that's sweet. Okay, so final part of this is to bring that in and glue it there. That's just pretty on its own, isn't it? Just like that, just in the centre of our little embossed panel in the inside. There we are, so it opens up and you can see it there. It doesn't sort of show from the front. I might bring some um, some, uh, some rhinestones in on the, on the act. Um, so I'm running out on this one, but one medium size, one left which I'll pop in here and a couple of little ones up here So there we are, that's our Let It Snow Merry Christmas Snowman card, um, gatefold card, it sits just like that as you can see and that's really, I like that, it's been a bit of blue and blue, all the blues this time for Christmas, hasn't it? I've had quite a few blue cards in our, in this series, but anyway that's my card number nine for my um, um, for my uh, 12 days of Christmas challenge so I hope you enjoy that one and give that one a bit of a go it's a nice simple fold and um, yeah, quite effective just something a little bit different so as I said thank you very much um, hopefully I managed to get on and have a bit of a chat to you all while the hairdresser was doing my hair this morning um, if not um, I'll as I said answer all the your questions and queries after um, Thanks for joining me for today. If you um, would like to know anything about these products or anything that you've seen during my 12 days of Christmas so far, please um, drop me a message or um, send me an email. All my details are on my Facebook page of how to contact me. And if you don't have an active demonstrator and you live in Australia, please feel free to reach out and I can help you or with online ordering or joining Stamping Up, or any questions you may have. Um, catalogues etc okay but thanks very much for joining me today um, I will see you all on um, Saturday for day 10 of my challenge nearly there nearly finished I've got a couple of exciting uh, you know exciting things to share with you um, for this last little bit and uh, hopefully you'll um, stay with me during that time so thanks very much and I'll talk to you all later